detectives are reviewing a video related to Suge Knight's hit and run incident to help shed light on whether the music mogul was a murder or a victim in the case. Suge remains in custody with his bail set at $2 million after turning himself into authorities on Friday, January 30. Suge's attorney James Blatt told the Associated Press that he would see the video obtained by detectives on Monday or Tuesday. However, Sheriff's spokeswoman Nicole Nishita told the site that the investigators have made no such arrangements with James nor did they plan to show it to him. The content of the video is still unknown. TMZ reported the security camera rained at the parking lot of Tams Burgers, where Suge allegedly hit and killed a man, wasn't working. Another security camera at a nearby Wells Fargo didn't face in the direction of Tams parking lot. According to Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, the former Death Row record CEO is scheduled to appear before a court on Tuesday, February 3. While authorities alleged Suge was a murder, James said his client was the victim. Los Angeles County Sheriff's Lieutenant John Corina previously said, The people we talked to say it looked like it was an intentional act. The argument escalated and the driver backed up striking one of the victims. The driver then drove forward driving over both victims. Various witnesses described the driver as being Marion's huge knight. James, meanwhile, claimed, We are confident that once the investigation is completed, Suge, will be totally exonerated. He explained, Suge, was in the process of being physically assaulted by two men and in an effort to escape he unfortunately hit two, other, individuals. He was in his car trying to escape, 